there was lots of like negative things that people had to say, but I, I can see that the more that I do it, the better I become. That's when Blue Ivy went and started practicing and practicing, basically saying, I'll show you. Blue Ivy was heavily criticized during and of course throughout Beyonce's renaissance uh, you know, concert because some fans had claimed that she looked very rigid and in fact she looked very uncomfortable whilst performing with her mama Beyonce on stage. Now according to what Blue Ivy also is revealing to us right now looks like all the criticisms and the backlash she headed and she says the more the criticisms were coming after her she was perfecting itself and guys guess what the lady is shining to becoming one of the most iconic dancers ever well stick and stay because she's revealing so much and this interesting report that you have for you this is a trend so of course we know uh we indulge your uh, conversation also on this platform join today's episode let's get interactive now in the recent uh you know uh we all do know the beyonce's uh moving uh, from the Renaissance concert. Now she's pushing it through the theaters and so she's making a Renaissance uh, concert or theater inside uh, you know, the movies and all of that. Now she is documenting everything that happened during the uh, Renaissance concert. And guys, guess what? Blue Ivy also seemed to have heard all the criticisms that all of you, I do remember perfectly well that during the first concert where Blue Ivy came on stage performing and, you know, she was uh, with her mama, Blue, uh, you know, Beyonce doing her thing, the comments were super, super hilarious, like horrendous, super atrocious to the poor 11-year-old girl. I felt like we were just indirectly bullying the girl. And now she says that the more the shading, uh, you know, and the you know, the, the criticisms and the backlash were coming after her. She, she, she saw everything. Now, like, I'm like, how did she see it? Was it like, was she, she, she was listening to it via, you know, the auditorium and how people were, you know, because I could, I could put myself inside her shoes and I could feel that people were just booing her sometimes. I, I, feel, I feel for her, but she says that the more the criticisms came, the more that she apparently was perfect. And just look at how she's looking. I mean, just look at this performance that she's, I mean, you see on your screens. Just 11 year old and she's doing magnificently well, like already. In as much as Beyonce is a pro, this is just an 11-year-old. Just imagine if she reaches her 20s and basically she wants to aspire to become a professional dancer. I bet you no one can be more like Blue Ivy does it. Like nobody. And honestly also... The Blue, Ivy is, uh, uh, the Blue Ivy dance has become a trademark for her. In fact, Lizzo uh, hopped onto that dance and it has become a global dance. Now, everyone is, is just partaking in that you know, particular dance. Now, just look at this. Everyone is dancing to Blue Ivy's uh, you know, uh, iconic dance at uh, Beyonce's Renaissance store. But she has been talking. We'll get you uh, what she has been talking recently. But I'm super happy that she didn't let this break her down. Uh, but she apparently, as young as she is, took positive uh, you know, uh, feedbacks, even though it was a bit, uh, I should say, uh, harsh for just an 11-year-old child to be battling such criticisms. Now, guys, it's not easy uh, to be standing in front of thousands of crowds, let alone to stand in front of millions of crowd now this is her first time performing with her mom so you all should just chill on this girl okay like just just i mean let's just give people the benefit of the doubt to just experience how it is on stage and how it also feels to stand in front of an auditorium and honestly if it were to be uh beyonce alone uh, you know the backlash and everything were just coming after her it would have been different because of course she's a pro and we know how best blue uh, you know a uh, beyonce or queen b is a good yet even though recently people are saying that she's not even relevant i mean everything about beyonce is more like a kick it's so much of a cliche yes she, she does it and so what now <laughs> i didn't say that it's it's on social media you can go check it out Anyways, uh, let's just get you what Blue Ivy has been talking about. But I'm so happy that she says that the criticisms didn't get to her. But uh, likewise, she took positive vibes from it. And of course, I she mean, is bouncing back. Lots of, like, Very good. Things that people had to say, but I, I can see that the more that I do it, the better I become. That's when Blue Ivy went and started practicing and practicing, basically saying, I'll show you. Yeah, so if that didn't break her and she says she persevered and all this, you know, endeavoring black, uh, backlash, blah, 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 she's been able uh, to sustain, I think is a very positive thing. And I could see that there's a huge backing from the family, from Jay-Z and from, uh, you know, Queen Bee herself. Now, are we not also drifting away from the conversation of 
you know, knowing exactly what Blue Ivy is capable of doing. I mean, I'm just asking because it's too early to determine whether or not Blue Ivy is really confident and really wants to aspire to become a professional dancer. Like, girl is just little. In as much as, yes, you know, she's just trying to uh, be strong in this conversation about uh, the backlash that seems to have come. I think that like, we should just give her some time to re reflect about her own career herself and not just because, uh, you know, her mama is a big star. Her, her, you know, her dad also is in the rap scene, one of the most successful for, uh, you know, personalities. And so definitely Blue Ivy also has to be in that kind of terrain of, uh, you know, show business. I don't know if she also wants to do this for a full time as a career. That's not the conversation people also have been making. I think that's the reason the backlash really came, uh, you know, after her because people had perceived or assumed that looks like Queen Bee is the one wanting to make Blue Ivy uh, succeed her after maybe her reign or her tenure or maybe when she goes or retires from uh, music professionally. So maybe she's pushing Blue Ivy to start now, but I don't know for sure if that really is a conversation, uh, you know, or the reality, but I'm super happy for now uh, that she says that, yes, the backlash came, uh, but that made her push very harder, and looks like she's perfecting and wants to maybe aspire to become a professional dancer. And so just in case you're out there, uh, you know, looking for a professional dancer, maybe you'd have to save so much of millions because, well, guess what? If you want Blue Ivy on your dance floor, you got to get some moolah because Queen Bee and Jay-Z are just not going to spare you with a charge. Well, congratulations to Blue Ivy once again. So you can see, yes, Blue Ivy do her thing on stage. And yeah, interesting conversation over there. Let's check more interesting uh, facts about Blue Ivy uh, and see what she has been talking about also okay so uh whilst we enjoy some more performances on stage i i i, I think i like this performance actually even though uh i've so on this particular video this was the i think the most talked about video that trended uh, because looks looks like she was either doing so much or she was just not so comfortable doing just just look at this girl like <laughs> Oh my God, Blue Ivy really has, I, in fact, all the, you know, the conversation about uh, the Renaissance store is not really about Beyonce. And I really appreciate the fact that Blue Ivy has become the center of the conversation this time. We, we're just tired about Beyonce. Yes, she's she's done it uh, a plethora of times and she can do, we know what, uh, you know, uh, Queen Bee can do. But for Blue Ivy alone, making it onto the top trends and of course, making it inside the news about not giving up and how people were backlashing her, blah, blah, blah. I feel it's super a big deal for her and girl you go get it you're a fighter you'll go get her and of course the whole world is behind you honestly i'm super proud of this girl uh just 11 years old oh wow 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 congratulations okay uh, uh, uh so what, what's what's happening with kim kardashian's uh you know uh you know uh, not west well maybe we'll have to see a battle very soon well we'll keep you updated as and what we do here this has been delicious open acts just thanks for watching